Hey you, what is up my viewers, Rightimos here bringing you a quick tutorial on how to fix Nvidia shadow play and other footage that use a variable frame rate such as from an iPhone so that the audio doesn't go out of sync when using most editing softwares such as Adobe Premiere. Now to quickly demonstrate what I'm talking about, uh, this clip is around 15 minutes in and as you can see it is incredibly out of sync, in fact you don't even hear the gunfire, and unfortunately the longer it goes on, the more out of sync it gets, but there is a very quick and easy fix, and that is using this software, Handbrake. Now what you want to do after it's installed is go to the source, and simply select the video file that you'd like to fix, and then you just choose where you want to save a file and then pop over to the video tab where most of the stuff changes. Now what we want to do is make sure that it is on a constant frame rate and we select the source to the closest uh, one of what we were going for, in my case it is 59.94 FPS. Then by sliding the quality slider you can choose, you know, zero is lossless which means we won't lose any quality. I have a lot of space so I can use lossless, but if you don't, you can go to the average bitrate. And just for a heads up, YouTube only supports 8000 kilobytes per second in 1080p and 10000 kilobytes per second in 1440p, so you can encode it that way too if you would like to compress it. But since I have a lot of space, I'm fine using that. And then going over to the audio tab, you select whatever is of your footage, in my case stereo, and the bitrate of that is around 99 normally, so I'll just put it slightly above that. Oh, and if you would like to find out exactly the properties of your specific video clip, simply right click on it and click properties. And there you can see uh, 59 frames per second and stereo, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. All you have to do after that is hit start. Now this is very CPU intensive, so it should take a little bit. But besides that, you're done. When you import it into Premiere, everything should work fine. Additionally, you can add a preset so you don't need to do this in the future. So yeah, we're done. <laughs> now for some shameless plugging. If you're someone who enjoys Let's Plays, check out my channel. I post a lot there. Uh, but besides that, I just want to say thank you for watching. Leave a like if this helped. Subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.